If you train with us at Flight Insight, you learn that the devil is in the details. So even though you might be familiar with airport diagrams, let's have a closer look at some things we might take for granted. This is Fort Lauderdale Airport. Here we are lined up on runway 10 right. The altimeter is set to the local reading and it reads just under 20 feet. Is it correct? Here's the field elevation. The taxiway diagram shows the elevation. It's in the box, 65 feet. That's a fair bit above the less than 20 feet we're showing. It's within the 75 foot tolerance for IFR, but why the big difference? You should know that the taxiway diagram lists the elevation at the threshold for each runway, in addition to the field elevation. The runway parallel to us lists elevations of 6 and 5 feet, and then our runway, 10 right, shows us at 10 feet, much closer to what we're indicating on the altimeter. An airport's field elevation then is based on the highest point of any of the runway thresholds, and that would be at runway 28 left, the opposite end of what we're lined up on. A high-speed taxi along this runway shows an increase on the altimeter, so that we're at about 65 or 70 feet indicated at the end. What happened was the airport raised the end of the runway a few years back to allow a road underpass to travel through it, so now there's a 55-foot elevation gain on the runway. Another way to see this is by looking at the approach plate for the ILS to this runway. The ILS decision altitude is 264, that's MSL. The height above touchdown listed to the right is 250. Take the difference, 14 feet, to get the touchdown zone elevation, 14 feet. If the runway is at 10 feet at the threshold and 14 feet at the touchdown zone, we see that it's gradually sloping upwards as we'd expect it to, going up towards 65 feet at the end. Now look at this, the circling MDA is 680. This figure is 615. If we take the difference, it's not the 14 feet of the touchdown zone elevation, but the 65 feet of the airport elevation. Why the difference? This 615 figure isn't the height above touchdown, like for the ILS, but is called the height above airport. It doesn't use a height above touchdown because there's no defined touchdown zone on a circling approach. It could be any runway, so it needs to reference the airport elevation. So while the elevation of all the runway thresholds and their touchdown zones are given, there's one important point on the airport that doesn't have a listed elevation. It's called the airport reference point. You won't find it on the government airport diagrams, but the Jeppesen plates do show it. It's the latitude and longitude reference point for the airport. When you put KFLL into your GPS, it'll show your distance from this point. When asked to give your distance from the airport, you reference this point, not your distance from the runway you're approaching. And at larger airports like this, the distance can be a mile or more. Like I said, details can really add up in aviation, and that's our focus in Flight Insight training. Check out all our courses and more at the link here or in the description. See you there.